one here is the bokeh tutorial that I promised I was going to make everyone. Um, if you haven't seen my custom brushes tutorial yet, um, I advise you to click on the link right in the middle of the video right now because the brush that I show you how to make in that video is the one I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Alright, so let's get started. First create a new document that is whatever size you want. I'm going to use my desktop background size because I want it to fit nicely. Alright, so we have that. Fill the background layer with a dark gray color. 2F, 2F, 2F works really well for this. So I'm going to say OK and fill that. Now create a new layer above the background layer and fill it with a gradient. I would advise using two or three colors and change the colors by double clicking these arrows here and selecting which colors you want. All right. So I have that. Now do a diagonal drag from corner to corner here. Um, I say diagonal because up like vertical and horizontal don't really look good at all for this effect. So do diagonal from one corner to the other or whatever, okay? All right, so we have that. Change this layer to overlay. All right, now that looks good. Now create a new group, and this is where we're going to put all of our little spheres. All right, so create a new layer in that group and go to your brush. Make sure that you have the bokeh brush selected and put on shape dynamics, turn the size jitter all the way up and leave everything else fine. Now turn on scattering and turn scattering all the way up to a thousand percent. Now select transfer and change the opacity jitter to about 75 percent and the flow jitter to about 25 percent and make sure you check smoothing as well. Alright, so our brush is all set up. Now we want to change the brush size to 500 pixels to start out with. Alright, now that we have the brush size set to 500 pixels, make sure you set the color to white. Now change the um, the effect of the group to um, color dodge. Now start painting this will give you this effect. Alright, that layer is good. Now go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and change this to about um, 40 pixels is probably good. Alright, so now that we have that, create another layer and do the same thing, except change the brush to about half the size or like 75% of the size, whatever. I'm going to do three-fifths the size, which would be 300 pixels, and paint again. Try not to overdo it, just gradually we'll create more layers with more painting if need be. Alright, that looks pretty good. Go to Filter, Blur again, Gosh and Blur. This time turn it down about half. Or no, sorry. Turn it down to about 10. That looks good. Now, this is the final layer. Go to brush and again reduce the brush size by about half. So I'm going to do 150. And again, paint. Alright, now go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur this layer by only one pixel. And that is how you do the bokeh effect. Play around with this. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope I helped. Please subscribe, and until next time, see you later.